And hi, everybody, and welcome to the Silver Fox blog. I'm Rich Frosty, and this is brought to you by Eastway Bowl on East 10th Street in Sioux Falls, where there is something for everyone. Well, the Sioux Falls Storm got a great win last week over the Omaha Beef in the first round of the playoffs. The Storm defeated them 42-23. to It was a Interesting first half, only 7-6 to six was the score, and Storm didn't score their seven points until very, very late in that first half, but very defensive orientated. You know, Storm got a couple of great interceptions. They were touchdown, uh, drive-killing interceptions, and uh, the defense played outstanding that first half. Second half, we had three offensive touchdowns and then three specialty touchdowns. One, a kick return by James Terry, interception by McIntyre that he took it to the house and then all the, also Dusty Avorka picked up a fumble on a kickoff and took that in and then the, like I said JJ two scores by him and then Dusty Avorka got a pass from Terrence Bryant overall it was a fantastic effort by the Sioux Falls Storm taking care of business at home and uh, the Omaha Beef uh, go down and Sioux Falls Storm will continue their season into the second round of the IFL playoffs. One of the things that was really pretty tough though last week was the, probably the smallest crowd that we had seen at the Sioux Falls Arena for probably close to 10 years back in the, even the Cobra days. Very small crowd on hand, but the fans that were there had a great time. They made an awful lot of noise and the storm outside I know kept a lot of people away. <clears throat> Excuse me. This week we hope that the weather's good, even though it's a holiday weekend. I hope we can really pack the Sioux Falls Arena, try on Jim Field, because this is going to be, uh, you know, the next step for the Sioux Falls Storm. And we really want to get that home field advantage again and uh, just overpower that arena with uh, Storm fans. And Coach Riggs uh, assured us in his show, and also uh, Wendy Luter assured us on the Curtis Riggs show, that there was there will be noisemakers, free noisemakers for the uh, fans coming into the Sioux Falls Arena. So check that out and uh, make a lot of noise at the game this coming Saturday. Now, this is the time of the year. You know, it's the second round of the playoffs. And you come in and you just had a big win over Omaha. And it was a very emotional win. Just everything was riding very high. And it's very easy to, you know, kind of drop off after that and just kind of look at this team coming in. Chicago, 6-8 and eight on the year. You know, they had three-game losing streak to end the season. Uh, you know, you're thinking, well, that shouldn't be a problem. At least we don't have to play Wichita this week. But this is the kind of game that can really bite you because that's about the same thing that uh, Green Bay thought when Chicago went up there and upset them in that contest. So, you know, Chicago coming in here, Storm needs to take care of business. And, and this is, like I said, the time of year where players really pretty much have to take a self-audit of themselves and look at themselves in the mirror and say, okay, you know, I'm – Tired, I'm kind of banged up, bruised, or whatever. How am I going to get myself ready physically and psychologically to continue into this uh, second round of the playoffs? And this is where the, the champions are the ones that step forward. And you know, regardless of what they're feeling inside, they step forward. They make the plays. They make the everything on the field happen. And Sioux Falls Storm had some fantastic leaders like this over the course of the years, the four championships. And now here the Storm are in a position to make another run for a championship. And Chicago is going to be standing in their way. They're going to have to take care of business. Now, you know, Chicago comes in with some flair. Jim McMahon, former uh, Super Bowl quarterback for the Bears, also played for the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, he's the part owner, whether he'll be here or not. Uh, Walter Payton's son, Jarrett, is uh, running back for this ball club, a former player with the Bears as the head coach. There's a lot of flair coming in. Bottom line is the Sioux Falls Storm really doesn't care about those types of things. They're worried about the eight guys that are on the field at one time. And they will be taking care of business in that way. So I hope the folks that, you know, come out, show respect to Chicago and to Jim McMahon and to, you know, Walter Payton's son, Jarrett, you know, show respect. But the Sioux Falls Storm, once the kickoff happens, they're going to be focusing on football and winning this game because the Sioux Falls Storm want to get back into that championship game. Now, with the change with uh, Rochester defeating Richmond, Sioux Falls Storm win this weekend. They will host the 
United Conference Championship game a week from Saturday against either Wichita or Rochester. So we'll just have to see how that all plays out. However, Storm have to win this week. It's win or stay home. Hope to see you out there. Hope we see a great crowd on hand. Going to have a great halftime show. It's going to be the Frisbee Dogs again. Come on out to the Sioux Falls Arena. There's going to be some uh, packages available. If you have a group, group tickets, just check with the Sioux Falls Storm. You just check with their office. They'll have some group discounts for you. You can get individual tickets. Uh, a lot of different ways to do it. Contact the Arena Box Office, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Ticketmaster, or the Sioux Falls office itself. And uh, just come out, get your tickets, come out, come early, stay long, enjoy the great ride the Sioux Falls Storm has taken us on this year. So thanks for being a part of the uh, Silver Fox blog. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate that. And we'll talk to you again next week. And this brought to you by the Eastway Bowl. See you later. Thank you.